Some patients with liver cirrhosis um, develop clots in their portal vein, what we call portal vein thrombosis. And this happens due to several reasons. One of these reasons is that because they have increased clotting factors and also because there is turbulent flow or abnormal flow in their portal circulation. We're able most of the time to transplant these patients if they have partial occlusion of their portal vein or blockage. But occasionally there is complete blockage of the portal vein. So the portal vein is uh, the vein that supplies around 80% of the blood flow to the liver. And normally in a liver transplant, when we remove the old liver and put the new liver in, we connect the portal vein of the donor to the portal vein of the recipient. But in these patients, because there's complete thrombosis or there's complete blockage of the portal vein, we're not able to use it as, um, as the inflow or the blood supply for the new liver. So sometimes these patients were not able to do a liver transplant because of that. We see it probably at least five to 10% of patients. Um, sometimes these patients have no symptoms. It's, it only shows up on CT scan or an MRI that we get uh, to look at the liver closely. So um, it happens over years most of the time and it's related to the liver disease itself and the cirrhosis. Uh, uh, we occasionally send these patients to get a liver and intestine transplant which is a much more complicated operation that um, has a much higher mortality and much higher complication rates. So a liver transplant would be a much simpler uh, approach and it would have much less um, complications compared to a multivisceral transplant or a, a small bowel and liver transplant. The complex procedure that we have been doing for some patients with liver cirrhosis is called renal portal shunt as an alternative inflow for complete portal vein thrombosis. That utilizes the uh, left kidney vein to supply the blood supply to the liver. Uh, most of the time patients that have portal vein thrombosis develops what we call collateral veins, which are veins that try to connect the blood flow from the intestine to the systemic circulation. So they go through the uh, left kidney vein to go back to the main circulation. So we're able to cut the left kidney vein and connect it to the um, new liver so that the new liver would be supplied by the blood flow through that vein. It's a more complex procedure, but it can help the patient a lot. First of all, they will get a liver transplant only rather than getting a liver and intestinal transplant. And um, patient tolerated well, and the complications rate in our hands has been pretty low with a really good success rate. Mm -hmm.